Hello and welcome back to the PTZ Camera Operator Handbook. We've really covered a lot in this online course and now it's time to talk about electronic pan tilt zoom, which is a brand new thing that's becoming more popular as image sensors and cameras have higher and higher resolutions and quality. We're able to use electronic pan tilt zoom with them. This is the Huddlecam HD Pro IP, which is a brand new NDI webcam with 4K image sensor, but is usable with digital zoom with 1080p and 720p resolution systems. So we're going to talk about what electronic pan tilt zoom is and do some live demonstrations along the way. Now, as you know, we always like to cover this online course and, and kind of catch us up with where we're at. We have talked about the industry, what a PTZ camera is. We've gone over every control option and many, many features of PTZ cameras. We've even started to talk about networking and control automation, synchronizing IP video streams, but now it's time to go into electronic pan, tilt, zoom functionality. Now this picture really helps to show what a electronic pan, tilt, zoom camera can do. So looking at these cameras that we were just talking about, let's say they've got a 4K image. And that wide 4K image has four speakers right in the image. Well, HD is generally speaking 1280 by 720. Full HD is 1080p, which is 1920 by 1080. And then 4K, I can't remember, it's 3800 pixels by 2000 something else pixels, a lot of pixels. Um, and you can make use of that large 4K resolution with electronically zooming into the space, you can see we've got four HD, that's 720p, again, 1280 by 720p resolution. We can use those spaces because there's so much resolution in that 4K image. If we're doing a 720p and HD production, we can actually electronically pan, tilt, zoom into each one of those spaces and make use of all of that. And it's really kind of a game changer in some scenarios. But we have to remember it's different from optical zoom, okay? So electronic pan tilt zoom, and this is a good example. We've got a 4K um, video camera there, and we're able to electronically pan tilt zoom into this space. The more we zoom in, the less resolution that we have that we're, that we're using, okay? Optical zoom, when we zoom in, the lens is actually optically zooming in with no digital changes to the image, right? It's just an optical, there's no loss of quality. The more we zoom in with digital cameras like this, the more we are going to see a loss in quality. But I've got a couple different cameras here I want to show to give a live example of electronic pan tilt zoom. And there's some really cool cameras that allow us to do some awesome things with electronic pan tilt zoom. In fact, here's one here I wanted to show. This is the PTZ Optics EPTZ camera, okay? So there's no optical zoom, which allows the lens to get a really wide field of view. And this camera is a little different than some of the others we're gonna look at today. This one has two SDI outputs. And what that allows it to do is always have one wide angle video, and then at the same exact time have an electronic pan tilt zoom video output as well. Now, this is one side, I would like to show. Have... Oops, not that video, sorry. This is one I'd like to show um, this way. So if you see this camera here, this is the electronic pan tilt zoom camera that we were discussing. And this one here is plugged in, and I've got the ability to control it with a joystick. So I'm operating it just like a PTZ camera with this joystick controller. Okay. and. The quality is pretty good. This is set to 3x zoom. And you can see that you get some electronic pan tilt zoom capabilities. Some people might not even know that you are doing electronic pan tilt zoom. So it's pretty cool. Um, it can be controlled with uh, a smartphone. It can be controlled with all the different ways that you control PTZ cameras. It's just different. And this gets people excited because now we can reduce the costs of the PTZ camera because there's no motor and it has a fixed lens. And we're going to see more cameras like this in the future, I'm sure. Um, this one here, the one we were looking at, 
is the Huddle Cam HD Pro. This is an NDI 4K camera, so it's power over Ethernet. It's network connected. We're going to learn more about NDI in an upcoming chapter. But again, giving you that Ethernet control connectivity and the ability to have that pan, tilt, and zoom functionality, even though it is in a non-pan tilt zoom camera, right? It's electronic pan tilt zoom. And we can even set PTZ presets and use it like a PTZ camera. So it works in a lot of different scenarios. The features of these ePTZ cameras are 4K, right? Generally, it, the only way to start using electronic pan tilt zoom is to have a higher resolution sensor. So 4K is one of the big ones. The electronic pan tilt zoom feature, by the way, works with software like Zoom video conferencing, for example, and allows for folks to control the camera remotely using Zoom. A lot of times there's an IR remote control that you can use, and generally they've got a wide field of view. These are the two example cameras that we looked at, and if you remember, we actually did some comparisons of optical zoom cameras and electronic pan tilt zoom cameras in a past video in this online course, but it really is ideal for certain situations, and one of them is like online meetings, because online meetings are not generally being recorded in 4K, right? They're not generally being used in even 1080p. Usually it's 720p or even less. So if you've got a 4K image sensor, you can zoom in with because you're operating at a much lower resolution, you can digitally zoom in and make use of that large image sensor without having to like degrade the quality because the quality standard is already much lower. Now, Another feature that's available in some of these newer electronic pan tilt zoom cameras like the Huddle Cam HD Pro is that they're combining the idea of electronic pan tilt zoom with more advanced features such as auto framing and even auto tracking in some cases. So auto framing here allows the camera to intelligently go, okay, two people have left the room. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on the person that's there. And so let's start this from the beginning here. So there's four people. It's identifying the faces. It's wide angle. Two people leave, and it uses the electronic pan tilt zoom automatically. Some, some would say automagically. Someone leaves the frame, and boom, camera comes back. So the electronic pan tilt zoom is starting to be used in a lot of ways. It's nice that you have that manual control, but you can also automate electronic pan tilt zoom as well. And to me, that's just really cool. Now, in an upcoming chapter, we're going to focus on some of the innovations in the pan tilt zoom broadcast and streaming market. And one of them is definitely called NDI, which stands for Network Device Interface. And it works over the local area network in general. Uh, they actually have made it work on the wide area network, which is the public internet as well, using the NDI bridge. But this is an example of that NDI camera, that NDI EPTZ camera we were looking at. And if you think about it, what it allows you to do once it's on the network, we can use it to stream to YouTube. We can use it with software like vMix or Wirecast or XSplit. And we can also use it with video conferencing solutions like GoToMeeting or WebEx or Zoom. So it really has a wide variety of applications once we get it on the network. And then you can use that electronic pan tilt zoom features to remotely operate this camera in a variety of ways and almost all the network ways that we've talked about. So key takeaways are is that these EPTZ cameras are really bringing video production capabilities to a new level, reducing the costs and fitting in places that, you know, traditionally uh, maybe a PTZ camera might have been a little bit more than were necessary. This one here that we were looking at is really popular in a lot of scenarios where you want to have one recording of the entire space and then a separate recording of electronically pan, tilt, and zooming and enhancing that higher resolution image sensor. So really an exciting place to be, exciting times. Now let's go into some of the innovations that are happening all over the video production and live streaming industry in our next video. So I'll see you there.